welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to swatch this new boku undo paint that i got in osaka so i'm so sorry for the background noise um, for some reason today it's just noisier they're just um, doing more construction today so i'm so sorry about that but we'll try to swatch this new color so i got this in sasabe art store so you can see the english uh, name here is shadow black me i'm not sure what me means but let's see if like google translate so um doesn't really make that much sense but i'm guessing that this one has more saturation um, compared to this one this is the first boho on the set that i featured here on my channel so in this one the colors are much uh more black compared to this one so let me just show you a comparison okay okay so this one i got in amazon and the name is shadow black um, this one is shadow black may like that so this is just quite interesting i just thought of swatching it for you guys um, in case you're interested to get one but i'm not really sure where you can find this i think somebody pointed out that they bought it in um, amazon japan so maybe you can check it out okay so the colors here are shadow pink shadow yellow shadow green shadow blue shadow purple and shadow vermilion so it's definitely brighter compared to the first boku on the set that i've shown you guys so this is a mix of sumi ink and maybe some dye or some other pigment okay, i'm just gonna grab a clean brush and okay so you can see that you can easily um grab the paint okay and we're gonna try and swatch this is shadow pink it's a nice dark pink color almost like a purplish crimson lake so this is shadow yellow oh this is a really really nice green i would personally use this so i'm actually just using a scrap paper this is uh the back page of another painting and this is a bow home paper so next we have shadow green this one looks like an olive green color let's try the shadow green that is a very rich color wow that is very nice so it actually looks like a perilin green or i think there's also a shadow green in the shihan pwc line or I'm not sure of the name but it seems like shadow green as well next let's try the shadow blue you can see i just grabbed a small amount and then you can already have a very pigmented color I'm guessing that this um, looks like indigo. Yeah, it does look like indigo. Okay, nice. Next, we have shadow purple. This one looks like a darker purple. It's also very nice. It's muted. This is shadow vermilion. So it almost um, feels like a brick color. So you can definitely see that there is some vibrance to the colors here. Even if there's uh, sumi ink, I'm assuming. But the colors are all very nice. This one, um, the first one that I've shown you guys, this one definitely has a darker feel or a moody uh, palette. But this one seems like a happier color it still has that muted feel you can see that the colors are not like super vibrant but 
at least you can see some color is not just mostly black okay so now let's try to paint the flower i'm, I'm going to try and paint this bearded iris so this is from the book flower color guide i'm going to put the link below this is one of my favorite reference books okay, so i think that the colors kind of match what we have in the book on the set so i think this is just perfect okay so i think we're gonna try and just paint with like some water and um, let's see how it goes gonna do a wet on wet technique for some areas and maybe I'm gonna grab some of this shadow pink let's see how it performs on wet surface so it's nice that it actually spreads out very beautifully add a little bit of this purple okay you can add some more ruffles right here Here's a bit of this vermilion. Just to make it brighter. I just really want it to be quite loose. I think this one looks great on wet surface because it just moves like crazy. It's really nice on wet and wet. I'm gonna add a little bit of vermilion right here. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear. There's just a loud thunder. It's about to rain here. So the weather here is quite crazy right now. So now let's move on to this big petal right here at the bottom. Just gonna try and use this cat's tongue brush just for fun. Again, let's grab this shadow pink. And we just wanted the tips to have that ruffle effect. Make it look a bit fuzzy. Add a little bit of this shadow vermilion. This will definitely look good if we had some yellow in our palette. But since we don't have that, we're gonna use something else. Just gonna extend this part, add some more water. Okay, then we can add like a darker center. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use um, this palette knife to add some like veins, just to give it some more character. So you're supposed to do this when um, the petals are still wet so that you can create a deep marking. Okay, so I'm just following the veins that I see in the reference photo. So it's also nice if you can grab some color from the darker areas so that you have 
have a darker vein as well so you can see the beautiful like texture that we're doing okay so right here you can see it's already dry and it's kind of more difficult to actually add some veins so what we're gonna do is just gonna quickly wet the area and that will help us just create more veins okay so you can see it's a lot better now okay so i'm honestly just doing some random scribbles because i don't want this to be like too realistic you always want to add some character and just um add your own flair to your painting okay so now i'm gonna grab some shadow yellow this is a nice like olive green color i would personally use this in my paintings it's really nice okay i'm gonna add here is my brush and just fade it away we add a little bit of the shadow blue in some areas or shadow green just gonna try and play around okay so i think we can add just a few more um, strokes to like fix some areas We can add some leaves as well. Okay, just doing some dry brush technique. Can add some more details okay so we are done um i did not exactly follow the shape of this iris just had to go with the flow um and also it would be nice if we had some yellows that uh, would definitely complement the dark um color just gonna clean up some areas but yeah i wish we had more yellow but i also think that the shadow vermilion gave this a little bit of warmth okay so if you want to have this set as well i'm currently doing a giveaway for my latest skillshare class all you have to do is to watch my class and post a project and a review as well and i will be putting the link to my class below if it's your first time to join skillshare you can have a one month free access to all my classes and at the same time you can watch classes from other teachers too so it's like a Netflix subscription, but instead of what you're watching series, you are going to watch different um, classes that you can learn from. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified for my future art videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!